just thinking today that we come into this world with nothing and somehow um, through our self-sufficiency we think that everything we have is ours and um, but it's only God's provision for us that we have anything at all and that brings a sort of a reverential gratefulness and awe to the Lord um, and understanding that apart from him, we are completely broke. And it gives me joy to know that I am taken care of by my father in heaven. It gives me joy to know that, that he is all that I need, all that I have in life and death. And so when I think about debt or if I have situations come into my life, which we all have where we think we are owed, are we? What are we owed exactly to warrant such a pompous, um, you know, reaction or statement to another person seeing as we did not come into this world with anything, but yet when something is taken from us or we're betrayed, we, we now, instead of giving out of the pure heart that we thought that we gave, it becomes this ugly, um, black sin that is so false. The enemy loves to come in and think that and make us, you know, we think on these things that we are owed, that what we gave, we gave for this, but because of situation, um, we want it back now. And it's just sad because we, we as Christians are, are the ones that are accounted, accounted for towards this. We are, we are charged with, you know, um, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. None of that in there points back to us. It all points to Christ Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so to think that we will have joy uh, in the pursuit of the world or in the pursuit of what we think we're supposed to have um, is such a, such a delusion. It's such a delusion because, because the more we're given Sometimes it's easy. It's easy to get caught up. The more we're given, the more, the more, um, it, the more we believe that it's ours and God always in his goodness and grace, mercy, he wants to teach us that even though he wants to give us a lot, it's not ours to behold it's all from him because of him and for him. And so we get to respond in joy with, without expectation 
of the return in the world of our investment. But our expectation lies in a perfect heavenly father who has given us everything on top of what we actually need, which is the King of King, Jesus Christ, to reconcile us to the Father, um, which is why we, why I'm here today. We're in Easter weekend and um, in this quiet day in between crucifixion and resurrection, I'm just meditating on the truth of God's word and how um, he just, he reminds us that, that life is, is not, is not um, about me. Life is Christ. Life is Christ. He says, I am the life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. I won't, he will, he will never thirst. He will never hunger. Come to him, come to him. And what he means by that is we will be so satisfied in him that we, our response in, in his love, our response in his love is here, here. It's all yours anyway, Lord. It's all yours. 